Welcome back to Airgun Academy. In this episode, I have a different type of airgun power plant to show you. This is a Beeman P-17 and it's a single stroke pneumatic. Just like the name says, you only have to pump this gun one time. Something you should realize, there is a difference between pumping and cocking. Some people refer to the brake barrel spring guns as one pump guns. But that's really not the case because you don't pump a spring gun, you cock it. With this single stroke pneumatic, however, you are actually pumping a pneumatic gun. The reason it's called a single stroke is because it only accepts one pump of air. If you try to pump a single stroke a second time, the first charge of air is released and replaced by the second stroke. So nothing is gained. In other words, you can't change the power levels of a single stroke pneumatic by pumping it more than once. Come on, let me show you how this Beeman P17 pistol operates. First, keeping the muzzle pointed in a safe direction, push the hammer down. As soon as you do that, the top part of the gun is released, becoming your pump handle. After you've pushed the hammer down, swing the pump handle all the way forward. When the pump handle is at the end of its arc, the compression chamber is full of air. But the air is not under pressure. Also, moving the pump handle all the way forward not only fills the compression chamber full of air, it also cocks the gun. Next, load a pellet into the breech. Remember to load the pellet point first so that the base, or the open end of the pellet, is facing you. At this point, the gun is now loaded, but the air in the compression chamber has not been pressurized. To do that, close the top cover like this. Now, the gun is loaded with a pellet and high pressure air. I can't stress enough how important it is to keep the muzzle pointed in a safe direction during all operations. And if you're not going to shoot the gun immediately, put the manual safety on safe. Let's see that process again. This time, a little quicker. Push the hammer down, releasing the top part of the gun, which is now your pump handle. Swing the pump handle all the way forward, cocking the gun and filling the compression chamber with unpressurized air. Load a pellet point first into the breech. Close the top cover, pressurizing the air in the compression chamber. Finally, if you're not going to shoot the gun immediately, put it on safe. Okay, we have air in the gun and a pellet has been loaded. The only thing left to do now is shoot. Come on, let's take this Beeman P-17 out back and take our shot. I'll take these Crossman Premier Dome pellets along because I have a feeling I want to take more than one shot. And always remember, wear your safety goggles when shooting any gun. And now, here are some benefits of single strokes. You probably noticed that it took a bit longer to make this gun ready to shoot compared to other guns. That has advantages when you're teaching a new person how to shoot. The process can be explained slowly and deliberately. You'll also notice that there's next to no recoil with a single stroke. Consequently, these guns are accurate well beyond their price range. This P-17 is not expensive, yet it can be just as accurate as air pistols costing hundreds more. Because the power plant is under so little stress, the trigger on a single stroke is often very fine. While not adjustable, it's a wonderful trigger. And at this price range, you won't find anything close to it. How long can you leave a single stroke charged with air? Well, because the way it's designed, single strokes do not hold pressurized air for very long. If you're not going to shoot within five minutes, don't even bother cocking the gun. It won't stay pressurized for much longer than that. So, as a rule of thumb, let five minutes be the maximum time you leave your gun pressurized and cocked. Thanks for watching Airgun Academy. 
Stay tuned for another great lesson from Pyramid Air.